Okay, if you're watching this, you've probably run a piece of equipment similar to this. And if you've ever noticed, there's stops molded in the front end here. And when you turn the steering wheel, the tires, they, they never did turn sharp enough to hit those stops. It's geometry and how they built the steering combined with wear and your axle pivot as well as the gearbox and everything. So, you lose steering sharpness and then makes mowing a little bit more work. So, and one of the last issues of Red Power Magazine, they had an article about moving the pivot point in. So, I've kind of already worked on this a little bit here. I, I welded up the holes in here to tighten that up, re-drilled them, and then here's, here's where it used to be. And then I drilled a new hole in it right there. So I'm going to move this closer to the spindle which is going to give me a uh, shorter lever length which will make it turn sharper. Okay so I took the old end where the hole used to be and I cut that off with the grinder and I ground a radius on there so it more or less looks just like it did factory. You wouldn't notice that that's been cut shorter unless you measured it or had another one right next to it to compare it to. Now the tension pin that goes in here. There's two different styles. There's this style which is a single wall and then there's a spiral. The spiral one is stronger than this one and if you just have this laying around and you want a stronger one take another single wall pin that's smaller and you can just take that and take a hammer and tap it right into the center and then you'll have a double pin in there and that'll make a good strong tight connection there. And now when you're out doing your yard work and you steer the steering wheel all the way, she goes all the way over to those stops, and you get a good tight turning radius out of her.